This is a quick introduction to sensing guidelines. If you've just purchased the app, you'll find the icon somewhere on one of your screens. Just so you can locate the application in future, you can always move it down into the main application bar so it's always available on your iPad screen. Once you've started sensing guidelines, you need to create a username. You need to purchase an annual subscription from the Purchases menu. And once purchased, you can download updates into the application. So just getting started with the application, the Fences Index gives you the Magistrate's Court Sensing Guidelines. And the way we use this is typically in the assembly room to go through to favorite offenses that we're expecting to deal with within a particular court session. So let's take a, a quick look at a fictitious court listing. This is for Felbersham Magistrates Court, of course, fictional. And we, we can read through the offenses we're expecting to see. And these will include the offense description most of the time and the Act of Parliament under which the prosecution is brought. So the first couple we have for Mr. Crawford is careless driving and mobile phone. So we'd like to make these favorites within the application. Now I can scroll through this list in the A to Z, or perhaps go through to group, jump down to M, then down into motoring. So I'm looking for careless driving, and I can simply click the star adjacent to that offense. That then creates this offense as a favorite. So let's just go back to the index. The second offense we had for this offender was mobile phone. So I'll just jump down to mobile phone, telephone use while driving, and I can click the star button on this screen or do that from the actual offense. So I can tap the star button there, and we can, if need be, just zoom into use of mobile telephone. Just while we're inside, the offense viewer, you can pinch and scroll this PDF page around. You can also tap to go to the previous page or the next page. You still have access to your favorites from the popover on the offense viewer, and you can also add notes into this facility. So we have two favorites added. Let's just jump back to uh, other offences, we have uh, a Miss Archer with excess alcohol and driving with no insurance. So back to the offence index, I can change this back to A to Z. I could just go for E for the excess alcohol, just scroll down. Excess alcohol drive attempts drive, and we can make that item favourite and then move on to the next offence. Just go back to the remaining offenses. We have speeding, and I have speeding of 84 in a 50. And we can just get down to speeding. Here's my speeding grid from the tools utility. I'm looking for 84 in a 50. So if I scroll this table right, your offense guideline offers a band B fine. The national guideline is six points or disqualify for seven to 56 days. And from that band, you could jump through to the fines calculator, select band B, find out the income, whether it's annual, monthly or weekly, apply the costs, and you can very quickly work out the fine. So we've now prepared those offenses. Let's just look at the last offense on our listing, which is not, given, not giving an offense description, but we know it is the Education Act. I can quickly go to the search and type in education. And it has found school non-attendance 
under the Education Act, and I can select a favourite from that particular offence. So we've now built up the set of favourites for our court listing, and these are in, in approximately the order they will appear in court. I can also export these if I wish to create, for example, a motoring adult court. That was a quick introduction to sentencing guidelines.